guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate y'all. We've got a great lineup for tonight. We'll get started here in just a couple minutes. We finally got Mutt and enjoy the rest of the evening. So thank you guys again so much for being here. It's uh, again a show that we do every single Monday night. So guys, as soon as we hit that 50 mark, we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and get started and we'll get Emoji J to come in and do the intro. He always does an amazing job with that stuff. So guys, thank you so much for the gifts. Thank you so much for just being here. I appreciate that. One more person, we'll go ahead and get there. Blake, what's up, man? We'll go ahead and get started right now. Emoji jumping. I'll see you, brother. Oh, Emoji, thank you so much for doing that, man. I appreciate that, guys. That's an, uh, an intro that he does for me every single week. Uh, he's going to go ahead and put his information in the bottom of the chat so you can go to his uh, channel and check out all the stuff on YouTube. And speaking of, guys, anybody that's interested in, there we go right there, Emoji J's YouTube channel right there. He records all the shows. Speaking of shows, guys, if you are new to the app or just kind of want to see what's going on with content and content creators, you can go to down at the bottom. It says live. You hit trending at the top. You'll see all the banners of all the people that do different things every single week. We got dating shows. We have um, cooking shows. We have talent and music shows. So there's a lot of different things going on on the app. So, you know, guys, certainly if you have an opportunity to support some of these amazing people, Certainly try to take the time to do that because everybody puts in a lot of time, energy, and effort into what they're doing. So just want to welcome you to my show. This is a show we do every single Monday night, guys. It's called Gratitude. And what this show is about is it's uh, about finding people who wish to show more, you know, thanks during their life. Um, each week's guests, we recall, you know, circumstances, people, and memories that have humbled them and, and to help them reflect and grow through the act of gratitude. That's what the show is really about. And what we certainly try to do every single week, guys, is we try to start it out with a quote. So I actually got two quotes this week. I found two amazing quotes and I wanted to share one. It has a little bit to do with, uh, we'll both have to do with patience, but it's more specifically, I'll read them and let you hear them. Patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. Second quote, let me read that one more time, guys. It's a pretty amazing quote. Patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. Wow, that's, that's, that's good stuff right there. The other quote we have, guys, is patience is power. Patience is not an absence of action. Rather, it is timing. It waits on the right time to act for the right principles and in the right way. Let me read that one more time. Patience is power. Patience is not an absence of action. Rather, it is timing. It waits on the right time to act for the right principles and in the right way. So, guys, that's a really awesome quote. That quote certainly, one, the first one talks about, this quote is about attitude, and then the second quote is about action, and I think those certainly work very well hand-in-hand hand together, and we'll get into that topic a little bit later on tonight. But as of right now, just to kind of recap on last week's topic, guys, we were talking about laughter and a sense of humor. And at this time, we're going to have one of our two amazing guests, Miss Becca Babe, to the box. She's already there. I'm going to go ahead and get her in. Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? I'm fantastic. Uh, Jameson, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for um, having me and hosting this. This is an incredible show. I couldn't be more uh, grateful to be on here. 
Well, thank you so much for just taking the time. I know that everybody's got a lot of different things going on in their life, whether it be family, kids, you know, contest grinds on the app and things of that nature. But thank you so much for, for being here. If you kind of want to just introduce yourself to everybody, let them get a little bit more familiar with you, you know, what, what you know, goes on in your neck of the woods and, you know, the floor is yours. Yeah, so I'm Becca Babe or like Baku Babe or Beach Babe, like whatever it is that day. Um, I, I stream regularly, um, have an amazing support system on here. Uh, we do Wig Wednesdays, painting streams. We're now going to do like a rave theme stream, um, cooking streams, and we just have lots of fun. So that's really my main focus here is just to have fun and just have really cool connections with people. Um, so thankful for everyone that I have in my life. Absolutely. I think it's certainly important to to try to do something different with your own streams. I think that everybody has certainly the opportunity and the ability to stream, but you know, you try to want to kind of set yourself apart from everybody else. You want to do something unique and individualistic to your own self. And I think that, you know, certainly a lot of people want to take the time to do that. So, you know, as you're like you were saying, you people like to have fun, people like to laugh, people like to cut up. Um, in your stream, when you think about laughter and, and having a sense of humor, what does that really mean to you? What is that as far as, you know, being grateful? How does that really accompany your stream, your life? You know, what does that really mean when you hear that? Yeah, so I think that as streamers, you know, and even as a viewer, right, like, you know, you're going into someone's stream and, and you're needing that, that humor, that laughter, right? And, and that's why we seek that out. Um, but just as important as that is for a viewer it's super important for a streamer because your energy everything that you guys bring to us is just absolutely incredible and it can change your day like i can have the worst possible day and then i can go live and they can just crack me up i know i'm gonna laugh i know i'm gonna have a good time and it's something that I'm truly blessed for. I mean, I have I have so many funny people that come in and just brighten my day. And it's like, it's a feeding of energy. And truly, like with whatever happens in your life, in your day-to-day, -day, you know, day-to-day -day activities, um, you're going to find that by laughing and by having a sense of humor, you can make things so much better. Absolutely. You, know, you can turn a negative into a positive. Yeah. I think it's certainly important. I think you really hit the nail on the head when you said that, because, you know, I think sometimes, you know, very often, you know, we can, can kind of get caught up in life. We can get caught up in kids. We can get caught up in our jobs and things can just be really rough. Things can be kind of so serious all the time. Sometimes it can be, you know, just a, a, a very much of a burden on people. And I think that, you know, certainly having a sense of humor and laughter and, and being able to laugh at just the small things in life have certainly can change people's day completely. Because, you know, like I said, when you have all this going on, you know, there's a time to be funny. There's a time to be serious. But like when you have so much going on, it's certainly an amazing escape, an amazing outlet to just have the sense of humor and find some kind of laughter. And even being able to like laugh at your mistakes and your shortcomings. I mean, like, you know, you can be hard on yourself, but I mean, truly like when you, when you're able to do that, like nothing, nothing, nothing positive comes from a negative mindset. So right. if you want positive, then you have to stay positive and humor is the way to do that. It really is being able to laugh, being able to have a good time. That's what it's all about. That yes. is what it's really all about. Yeah. Um, when, when, have you, have you always kind of had like a really funny personality or sense of humor? Does that go back to when you were young? Do, have you had a lot of people in your family that are just jokesters and pranksters and, and things like that? Yeah. So I think that um, growing up, I grew up with three older brothers. Okay. So our house was constantly crazy, you know, and I think humor is very subjective to the person, right? Sure. So you have to be mindful of that, right? Because what you might find funny might not be the same thing that somebody else does. So being, you know, courteous in regards to that, but absolutely. Like, I mean, I, I, I love it. I've, I've centered my life around it. I've, I've, it's been my sole drive too. I mean, when I can think of, anything that I've been through and I haven't had an easy life, but no matter what I've been through, humor has been what's guided me and being able to laugh it off has really driven that. 
Yeah. I think it's really, like you said, I think that you, you hit it when you were saying that. I mean, it needs to be a drive. I mean, because you know, life, like I said, life can get crazy. Life can really throw you a lot of curveballs and it can really bring you down in a lot of different areas. And if you are able to have the ability to laugh at yourself, be able to have the ability to have a sense of humor, I think that you can certainly get a lot more out of life. And I think that you can certainly view that as the glass is a lot more half full than half empty because, you know, again, I mean, it can get crazy. You know, you, you, there's a lot of unexpected, unexpected things in life that you never know what are going to happen. And, you know, if you have that outlet to be able to just laugh and be around people that, that certainly bring that wonderful quality and characteristic out of yourself, it's just, it makes things so much more worthwhile. And Meet Me is perfect for that. I mean, the community really is. is absolutely incredible. Whether you're a viewer or you're a streamer, there is something yep. that, I mean, it just brings us all together. And, you know, you can sit there and, like I said, have the worst possible day and get on and you're just going to have, you're going to have fun. You know you are. Yeah. And it, there's, it, it, there's good and bad, you know, but the good outweighs the bad 110%. Yeah. There's certainly... um you know, specifically people on the app that are certainly in my circle of friends that I look for when I'm looking for like a good mood or a funny mood to be in. I like look through my favorites and see if that person's on. I'm like, that's going to be a funny stream. That's going to be something that just uplifts me. That's something that's going to brighten my day. That's something that's just going to like just hit me a little bit different if I'm just struggling or just having a tough day. So, I mean, to your point, I mean, it's just fun to have that. It's fun to be silly. It's fun to just, you know, have the excitement you know, and to have this the opportunity to, to laugh and joke. And we're human too, you know, we're, we're streamers, but we're also human. So there's going to be times mm -hmm. where we're not going to have the best day. And sometimes it's going to be hard for us, but you guys pull us through so much. I mean, I can't tell you how many times, you know, my people have been there for me to just lift me up, you know, and get me right back on track. And it's, and it's something that I'm, I'm so grateful for. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely hits a little bit different. Guys, if you're new to the stream right now, this is a show that we do every single Monday. It's called Gratitude. Um, what we do is we talk about finding people who wish to show, you know, more things during their life. You know, each week we have guests that recall, you know, circumstances, people and memories that have humbled them, you know, to help them reflect and grow through the act of gratitude. And this right here is just Becca. She's talking a little bit about, you know, having a sense of humor and laughter. And so guys, if you're new here, Please uh, be sure to try to check us out every single Monday night. There's also a lot of amazing shows, not just Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night. There's a lot of amazing content. So if you certainly have an opportunity um, to check out some of these people and their shows, you certainly will get a lot of uh, laughter and sense of humor and joy out of that. So, uh, again, thank you so much for being with us. But, you know, like you said, you know, the app certainly is a great platform, I feel like, especially to, you know, to, sh to shine. I mean, I, I think it's hopefully at some point that there will be uh, an actual official show where someone is being a comedian. I think that that will be great. I mean, if you can kind of get a little, you know, somewhat um, PG with the, the jokes, you know what I mean? I think that that would be certainly a great outlet for someone on the app that has a tremendous sense of, uh, you know, humor and personality. I think that that would be an amazing thing. How do you feel about that? Like I said, there is a fine line. It's, it's very subjective. I'll tell you, like, I think one of the most impactful times that humor was used in my life um, was when my, my aunt, she was diagnosed with cancer and she was stage uh, three and we really thought we were going to lose her. Wow. Um, and she was in the hospital and she was getting you know, her chemo treatments. And my mom and I had gone with, you know, and my mom is a very tiny little thing. You know, she's very thin. And so my mom sat on the bed with my aunt. And when the doctor came in, I was like, well, you got to guess which one of them has cancer now. And it was just like this really funny moment because like, and my aunt laughed and we we're all laughing. The doctor was laughing and it was like, those, I mean, like, you need that. You need that when laughter is the best medicine. Mm -hmm. It truly is. Yeah. Especially in a situation like that, you're dealing with a, a very, you know, life-changing, family-changing situation. And you have to find some type of light at the end of the tunnel. You have to find some type of, you know, opportunity to make whatever best part of that situation as you can. And I mean, that was certainly a wonderful way to do that for sure. It's a 
mindset, you know, and it's like you can you can look at things and, and, and just constantly, you know, have them bring you down or you can try to find that light and you can try to be that light for other people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 100%. I couldn't I couldn't agree more. I think that, like you said, humor is is a wonderful way to just change a tone. It can change a mood. It can change a tone. It can change a conversation. It can change a whole situation you're in. Sometimes people can get really uncomfortable. Sometimes it's a great icebreaker. I feel like for some people, it can really just open the door to a situation that can be stuffy, can be weird. It can make you feel off a little bit and it can bring out, you know, so many wonderful, like just, it's like just bursting at the seams, you know, it can just connect people in so many different ways. I think sports certainly is an easy way to do that too. Like you don't necessarily have to love people or a certain team. I think that when, you know, you're around sports, you know, sports has the same, you know, effect a lot of times, like, you know, sense of humor and laughter can. Would well, you agree? when you're a bears fan you're just a you're just a joke anyways so <laughs> it's like story of my life anytime right? like, nfl comes out i'm like okay great like <laughs> let's see what happens now yeah um so I, I <laughs> are there other times that you feel like that there um are situations that you've helped people through sense of humor like that have come into your stream that said hey look i'm really struggling and you know you've certainly brought me out of that maybe that that dark place that I was in through laughter or, or having this humor. You know, my goal is to always get people to smile and laugh and have a good time, no matter what. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, they they you know my people sit there and and they tell me all the time you know how much I've helped and stuff and have brightened their day and so like for me I'm just. I'm super grateful for that. Um, you know, like I've recently had somebody who was, you know, I'm really close to and, and he's been in the hospital in and out, you know, and being able to call him and make him laugh, you know, outside of meet me and just like bring that light to him. I mean, that's what I want to do for everybody that comes in. Mm -hmm. if, and if I can do that, then I feel like I'm successful, regardless of the diamonds, regardless of the favorites, you know, if I can make somebody happy and I can change their day. And I even feel like, you know, you get people that come in and, and they're just nasty people, you know what I mean? And they want to bring that down because you're shining so bright and they just have to come and try to tear that down. But the truth of the matter is, and this is for anybody that's considering like streaming, hurt people hurt people. So if someone comes in your stream and they're being obnoxiously rude, they're just hurt themselves. And mm -hmm. so if you can try to, instead of just right away blocking them, if you can try to like find a way to flip, flip that, oftentimes they can become your biggest supporters mm -hmm. because you took the time to let go of how it was making you feel and share that with them. And yeah. some people you can't do that with, but right. I mean, of course, yeah. It's okay. but, but a lot of times you can, right. A lot of times you can kind of flip that script and just kind of turn it on them and, and make it just a, you know, a fun thing when, you know, in reality, that's not what they were trying to do anyway. Right. I think, um, you know, for me, especially here lately, you know, I've had some people that have come into my stream. I've had some people that have lost their jobs. I've had some people that have lost or I have someone specifically that comes in that just recently lost their mother. And, you know, to be able to laugh and to be able to joke and to be able to pick and play with that person as also as well as being serious, you know, being able to find the balance of the two, I think certainly go hand in hand with being able to create and generate amazing relationships with people. I think sometimes that, you know, you don't really know what goes on with people. You know, even if you're streaming, you know, people can only know so much about you, but even when people are in the comments, you know, even less about them because you can't see a face with it too much. It's just more like photos and, and things like that. But, you know, certainly like you said, having a sense of humor and laughter, that for me has certainly brought a lot of joy for me because, you know, people struggle, people have their own, you know, demons that they're dealing with. And that certainly helps a lot. A hundred percent. And, and, and just as much as, you know, I mean, we've helped them, they've helped us so right. much. Yes. I mean, at my lowest points, they've been there and they have just, I mean, brought such an extreme happiness into my life. And so I'm, I'm so grateful for the app. Honestly, I, I mean, I started in April during the beginning of the quarantine and I had just moved 16 hours away from all my family and my friends. So I really had no outlet. 
And I mean, I got on here and it was like this newfound community, this newfound family. And it, and it carries over way outside of even the app. It really you know, does. I have friends now. I have people that I can count on, mm -hmm. you know, that I can pick up the phone and be like, you know, let's talk about this. Absolutely. So, I mean, and, and it's all, it's all been built through laughter and just positivity and having a good time together. Right. And it's hard to do that. You know, when, when you have someone that lives in California, New York, you know, uh, another country, you know, it's really hard to have the opportunity to meet these kind of people and, you know, you really can't even think of a situation to be able to do that. So like you said, you know, you have an opportunity in a platform like this to be able to make all these different connections. And then, you know, as you make these connections, you learn these people and they learn you and you just generate all these amazing relationships. And then what's really cool too, is to see how your community interacts with each other as well. You know, that's yeah. funny too. Like I've got a lot of men in my stream, but let me tell you, like sometimes they are just so gay for each other that it's cute because yeah. they love each other, you know, and they yeah. come in and they, and they like, they talk to each other and they're having their own conversations, you know, and it's like, it's so nice to see that too. Yeah. It really I'm is. Because like you said, I mean, we everybody in their own way has their own community. You have a certain group of people that support you. I certainly have a lot of people that support me. And to be able to, to have those communities kind of come together like, yo, hey, and this and that. And you're able to see that through, you know, different networking and stuff. is certainly just a, a wonderful thing and a wonderful treat to have a platform like Meet Me to be able to do that. Or Scout or Plenty of Fish or whatever the case may be that you're streaming from to be able to do that. Right. And they all intertwine and it's all based off of humor too. I mean, they're constantly cracking jokes, you know, yeah. and it's funny to see it. It really is. I love it. I love it. Um, is there anything that you'd like to maybe add in closing? Anything that you'd like to leave with anybody? Anything that you'd like to maybe, you know, just encourage them to, you know, be more funny or what do you, what do you want to leave with people? Stay positive. If you can be somebody's light, always choose to be that light you know make mm -hmm. light of stuff don't take the world so seriously you have one life to live and and you're never guaranteed time you, you don't know when it's going to happen so be silly be goofy be yourself you know and and be unapologetically you and and that will shine through and it will absolutely you know, brighten someone's day. Hey, preach sister. You're preaching to the choir. Don't be afraid to make a fool of yourself either. You right. know, like, don't take life seriously. It's not supposed to be serious guys. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry about making a fool of yourself because all the amazing people that support you will help you feel like a fool. So right. <laughs> it's true. Becca, thank you so much for being here guys. If you get a chance, please favorite this amazing woman. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for taking the time. It was my pleasure to have you on. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Jameson. All right. Take care. Bye, guys. Wow. Such a such a great person. Such a, a very outgoing and bubbly personality. I'm so glad that she took the time to be on my show and, and to be able to go over laughter and, and a sense of humor. She's such a just a wonderful outgoing personality. And you know, guys, like I said, if you get a chance to please favor her and and um you know try to check her streams out, you know, try to see if you can go in there and you know, just bring, you know, a lot of laughter and joy into your own life when you're struggling and have days that are just kind of rough. So, um, again, thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, guys, this is a show that we do every single Monday. It's called Gratitude. And what it is, it's at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every single Monday night. And the show is about finding people who wish to show more thanks during their life. You know, we have guests on the show every single week that recall circumstances, people and memories that, that have humbled them that help them reflect and grow, you know, through the act of gratitude. Out of the week, Monday through Thursday, all you have to do is hit the live button, hit the trending and look at the top. You'll see all the banners from um, the uh, department of uh, Meet Me that have certainly put in a lot of amazing time to create those. And uh, there's just, there's cooking shows, there's dating shows, there's talent and music shows, there's, you know, so many different ways to, to be able to support 
so many different people on the app. So guys, like I said, if you get an opportunity to check these people out, they certainly put in a lot of time, energy, and effort of what they're doing. And I think that everybody would be able to find something that they really, really enjoy and like. Um, just wanted to kind of shift gears and go into this week's topic. This week's topic, guys, is patience. That's what we're going to be talking about. Those are the two quotes that we read, and I'll read those one more time. Patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. Patience is power. Patience is not an absence of action. Rather, it is timing. It waits on the right time to act for the right principles and in the right way. So, guys, that's what we're going to be talking about tonight is patience. And, you know, at this time, I wanted to welcome our second guest, of the evening, Miss Artemis, to the box, and we'll get started. Let's get it. Jameson. Hey, how are you? Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. I wanted to echo Becca's sentiments. Thank you again for having me on the show. I'm really, really excited to be here. Oh, well, thank you. I, I, I appreciate you guys taking the time. I mean, I know you could be streaming. I know you could be, you know, doing your own thing, but, but thank you so much for um, you know, just being on the show, it's such a pleasure to have such amazing people every single week on my show, and I couldn't be more thankful to have you guys on tonight, especially. Thank you. No, I mean, I've watched your show, and I love it, so I'm excited. I was like, you, you, you do all the things that I like. I like the positivity in here, and I think there needs to be more of that everywhere, so it's beautiful to see it featured as a show. Absolutely. I think it's certainly important, I, I feel like, especially to, to, to have the vulnerability side of people that stream certainly to be able to open those doors and and you know just to share a little bit about you know yourself as a person not so much as a streamer and i think that certainly people really appreciate being able to see those sides of people so um I think so too. You know, certainly you want to share a lot about you but just to kind of give you a little bit of a plug guys she's got her own show on uh wednesdays at one o'clock eastern standard time in the afternoon it's called breath by breath and what it is guys it's a yoga and let me make sure this is how I'm going to word it. So if you want to correct me, let me know. It's like a yoga and meditation to kind of strengthen the body and sort of calm the mind. Yep. There's a, there's a little bit of education in there too. We, uh, we talk about different yoga concepts, things that, you know, if you go to yoga class, you don't really hear about them. They throw words around, but I'm really want to teach people about uh, the philosophy of yoga. Like what, makes it more than just a physical practice. What makes it something you can bring into your whole life every day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, maybe at some time uh, down the road, you know, not, that might be something that you want to certainly try to push as an official show. But, guys, like I said, again, breath by breath, every Wednesday, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, please be sure to check out her stream. She's doing amazing things. And so speaking of doing amazing things, you certainly want to introduce yourself to everybody that maybe is not familiar with you just to kind of share a little bit about you, how long you've been on the app, and anything sure. you're comfortable sharing. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Artemis. I've been on. I've been streaming since December. Um, I kind of. I got on. More so. I. I didn't. I don't normally live in the U.S., but I came back to the U.S. to take care of my dad. And you know, going through that uh, COVID, everything here, couldn't really see any of my friends. So I thought I'd meet new people and found this in the community that you know we've made here is absolutely incredible. So I stream almost every day, normally later at night, but. I, I love it. So I don't think I'm leaving anytime soon. You guys are stuck with me. You're stuck with me. Yeah, same. I mean, you know, like, you know, we were talking about with Becca, it's certainly a, a wonderful platform to, to be able mm -hmm. to connect and have all these amazing relationships that have basically been generated from nothing because, you know, I don't know you from, you know, this and to be able to, you know, have you on my show and, and, and have a, a great friendship and relationship is certainly amazing to, to be able to have that. So, I um, to kind of go into this week's topic about patience, when you think about that, what really sticks out at you? What really hits you different? What really is something that you maybe try to instill in your own life as far as patience? I think patience, you can ask my family, is something that I've, I, I was never patient at all. And I think the first time I had to be patient really uh, was my senior year of college. Okay. And I was looking for a job at the time couldn't find one and I was getting angry and and the anger was making me sad and the anger was coming out to everyone I was around and I had to take a step back and look at what I was doing and realize that by not in, oh was that me oh sorry I cut out by not enjoying like the journey of what life was 
I wasn't able to love the people around me and be good. So I had to take a step back and, and just be like, things will come as I need to. And every day, do better than I did before. And something good will come. You just have to, you, you almost, it's like that manifestation idea. Like you have to know it and accept it or you're just, you're going to tear everything out, uh, tear everyone and everything around you apart. Yeah, absolutely. I think that like you, you hit, you hit it right there when, when you can have the ability to have some patience, it certainly makes you very grateful of the relationships you have with your family. It certainly makes you grateful for the relationships you can have with, you know, your friends um, your coworkers, your spouses, your boyfriends, mm -hmm. girlfriends. I think that that patience is certainly a virtue. I mean, I know that that's very a cliche mm -hmm. saying for a lot of people, but okay. it really is. I know that it's something that I certainly have to work on every single day. I certainly wasn't born with, you know, the patient spoon in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's something that I have to really work on every single day because, you know, there are some times that I feel like in my life, especially you want the, the instant gratification. Yes. You may want the, the That's our whole life the, now. Yeah. The ability to understand that the success is just like that. And you have to understand that, you know, with patience or the lack of patience, you may not necessarily get there. You may not be where you need to be if you don't have patience. And so for me, especially that's something that I have to work on along with other things every single day to try to be the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. So I can continue to be a great streamer. I can continue to be a great, you know, son, um, to my parents, um, you know, and things like that, uh, yep. to a brother, to my sister. I think that it's something that I want to continue to work on every single day. I agree. And it's what something that I, I, a lot of people, especially I'm a yoga teacher. So a lot of people come in to, to, or think, think about yoga. Oh, I'm not flexible. So I can't do yoga. I, I, that's it's completely the wrong sentiment. You are not flexible. So you should do yoga. Yoga is one of the most incredible tools to teach patience because right. you have a measured uh, a measured uh, line when you're going like if you can't touch your toes every day you practice yoga you do the thing in a month you can touch your toes but you are patient with yourself you put yourself through a practice that isn't always comfortable but you leave feeling like you've been productive like you're uh, better than you started that's one of the things one of my favorite quotes is you know do like do something better than you did yesterday like just right. all trying to it. but that is a, a thing in patience we we look at these huge goals as like i need to do this in one month when we're thinking about it so big you can't picture it you need to go to the the micro of it you know little steps and that's a, that's a patience is looking at the little steps knowing that you can get to the big one but taking your time and going slowly that's why I love teaching yoga because people come in so stressed out about everything and they think they think that yoga is going to be difficult or hard, but they keep coming back. And then there's one day they hit that pose that they've been working on forever and they just have this huge smile on their face because they know that they they didn't just earn it from nothing. They were patient and they worked at it and it happened. Right. Yeah, I think it's important. I think, you know, for, for me, especially as I've gotten older in life, I think that when I was younger, I wanted, like I was telling you, the instant gratification. I wanted success to be just like that. And, you know, when you set certain goals in your life to be maybe unreachable or unattainable, I think sometimes when you take a step back and kind of shut down the engines, recharge your batteries and get yourself back to neutral and realize that you may not necessarily have to set this one goal for yourself to obtain. If you're able to break that down into maybe like 50 smaller goals, mm -hmm. And they certainly seem a little bit more achievable because, you know, what you have up here is on top of the mountain. And what you're really trying to do is if you can, you know, set yourself to maybe hit this and this and this and this. And if you can check that off, you know, as you're going, you know, it's a little bit easier to not become so impatient with that because it seems like it's more realistic. Exactly. For the, the goals, you're hitting the goals, you're hitting those check marks. Like I, I say a lot of people who are trying to figure out how to get a routine in their life. Mm -hmm. Is that like three easy things you can do every day because you learn to be proud of the small things you do. So right. you're less impatient later on. Like if you make your bed, if you just do your dishes, if you just go on one walk, those are small little things you can do, but you're creating a habit and almost an instinctual reaction to be patient with yourself. Cause you're like, Oh, I don't normally do these things, but look, I did it. And you take a step back. You can breathe 
And so you can, you can think about what you're doing, think about the goals because you know you've already hit some. Yeah. I think like habits, goals, and patience all go together and then they're all wrapped up in discipline. And that was gonna that was gonna be a question that I was gonna ask you is you know, a lot of people have different opinions about this, but you know, for you and I more specifically, do you feel like that that patience is something that you have to work on every day? Do you think it's something you can teach someone? Do you think it's a learned behavior? Do you feel like you either I, have it or you don't? Definitely not that. I think you can okay. learn it. I think it can, I don't think you can be taught exactly, but I think you give people tools to learn it. So it's still something you have to teach yourself, but I think some people can give you tools like routine building. That to me, that can be a teachable thing. You, you give someone an outline and like, let's make your routine together. Um, but I think honestly, a lot of it wraps up into choice, choice and discipline. We've talked about, you know, motivation comes and goes, you know, you get a motivation to go to the gym for a week and then it's gone. Why do you keep going? Is it discipline? Is it, is it the choice you make? Is it you look at yourself and you see how much you don't want to go, but you give yourself a little patience. You, you give yourself some grace and you're like, let me think about why I'm going. Patience is always, is also just taking a step back and rethinking why your brain's going a million miles a moment. That instant gratification. Sometimes our, our minds have a million thoughts going through that. But if you're patient with yourself, you take a step back. You can, again, see that big goal, but look at all the little goals that go towards it. Yeah, I, I think that honestly, and, and, and this is me certainly being very vulnerable than I usually am in my own streams, but I think that patience for me is definitely something that I have to work on every day. Mm -hmm. I think that this is not something that, that I feel like I achieve as much as I'd like. I think, you know, from maybe a work standpoint, maybe from, you know, uh, a relationship building standpoint with the friendships that you have with people and things like that, that, you know, sometimes you have to realize that that stuff takes time. Yeah. You know, it's not going to happen overnight. But then, you know, you start to think to yourself, well, you know, is it something that I need to work on? Is it something that I, that I need to do more of? Is there something that I need to do less of? Is there yeah. something that, you know, it's just something that for me, you know, for me anyway, is something that I have to work on every single day. And I know that there are a lot of qualities and characteristics that a lot of people aren't certainly willing to admit to. But i be the first to admit that, you know, I'm by no means the most patient person in the world. That's the first that thing. Is, is certainly something that I have learned as I've gotten older again, like I said, to make a priority in my life because yeah. I know that it's something that certainly needs, you know, some attention from me. I mean, if, if you know, my career and everything is about the mind and the body working together. So a lot of it in, in my opinion, meditation is, is the most amazing thing you can do for your body, your mm -hmm. mind, everything, because you have to sit there and you have to be patient. And you have to sit there as your mind goes crazy and you still have to be patient because you're like, I'm doing it for five minutes. It is the ultimate practice in patience because you don't want to be doing that. You want to be, you know, walking around, you want to be doing something, playing video games, being on meet me, something. But if you practice meditation for 10 minutes a day, you're learning patience. I think that is a way to learn it because you have to learn how to not get angry with yourself and all the, the things that you don't like, which tend to come up during meditation. And you have to sit with them right? And live with them and be patient with yourself to get through them. So it, I recommend that to you if you want to. Yeah. I think it's an incredible practice and everyone should do it. And it's honestly life changing. Are there, are there ways that you've been able to incorporate patience with your relationships with family, friends? So I live with my dad now. He's 83 years old. He refuses to get a hearing aid and is also like, we're going through cancer treatment. That's why I'm back home taking care of him. And I love my dad. I do. But 83 year old men are very, very stubborn. We're set I, in their ways. They're, they are so stuck in their ways. So it is, it has been a big thing where sometimes just the person that I am, I, sometimes I need to just step away for a second, step away, take a breath, come back in because he'll, he'll do things like, things that his doctors told him not to do and he'll do it anyways. And then I'm the one who has to like pick up the pieces. And I'm like, what are you doing? They told you not to do it. Right. So I take a step of black and I go and I sit with him. Oh, he needs a hearing aid. So I yell at him. So that's also an interesting <laughs> concept with it. But we, we have to talk and, and I have to repeat things and do all of that. But it's become that 
I need to step away. I need to find my breath, my calm, and I go back in. And I think a lot of people think it's bad if it's not perfect right away. But the thing is, it's not going to be. Some people are blessed with patience. They, they had it as they've grown up. Me, I'm not. I'm a very fiery, passionate person. So if you do need to step away, if you need your own space for a minute, don't be ashamed of that. Take your space so you can come back and be better. Yeah. I think for me, you know, like I was saying, is even though it's something that I work on every day, I think that as I've been able to work on that more on a daily basis, I think that it has actually helped my relationships with my family. I think it's mm -hmm. helped me a lot with my friends because it helps you learn and listen mm -hmm. and be able to apply that to your own life. Because I've always been a firm believer in the fact that you learn a lot when you listen. Yes. You learn a lot when you pay attention to what people are saying, you know, what you're supposed to hear. Um, I think that when you take the time to do that, you can certainly really learn someone on a lot of levels that, that maybe a lot of people aren't willing lead to admit that they're, that they're letting you see, you know, and be able to open up because yeah. you know, that that's certainly just a, a focal point or a foundation for me to have great relationships with people is to be able to listen. Yes. And I think that that's certainly been something that I think has gone very hand in hand for me is the patience and being able to listen because, you know, that's, that's again, how you have these great relationships with friends and, um, you know, just acquaintances that you run into every day is to be able to listen and learn. Yeah. Because you're, you're a lot of us, you know, we, we like to tell our own stories, but when you listen to someone else's, they're more willing to open up. Sure. They're more willing to get to know you and, there's some people you, you see them in one light, but when you get to know them in another, they amaze you. And I think a lot of us don't take enough time to just, just sit and be quiet and, and hear stories and learn about people. And that is listening. Yeah. What would you say, um, you know, going forward every day, you know, especially with the relationship you have with your dad and stuff, what do you feel like is, is what, where you want to accomplish the patience and how you want to continue to, to apply that to, to certain areas in your life. What do you feel like is an attainable goal for you to be able to reach to say, Hey, I'm, I feel like I'm there, you know, maybe from a meditation standpoint or anything like that. I think it's just, I mean, yoga in general is about controlling the mind, not having that monkey mind brain where it's going ever at the same time. And that's a, that's a journey. I don't, people who reach it are enlightened and you know, right. unenlightened. So I think it's just practicing. It's practicing meditation every day, but also being able to have that become an automatic response in a lot of things. So when I get upset, I would, I would love to not have to walk away for a second. And I would love to just be there in the moment and see what's going on in my brain and be like, let's just breathe, take a step back, be patient with it. For sure. But you know, it's a journey and it's, it's a, it's difficult and you have to work at it every day. I think anything more, anything beautiful takes work and I'm totally fine doing the work. Yeah. I think that, that I completely agree too. I think that, that a lot of people can become complacent. Mm -hmm. Just kind of say, well, this is how it is, or hey, he's set this his is how life, I am, or this is no how she growth. is. Nobody's really going to grow. Nobody's given any kind of lead weight, anything. But you know, at the end of the day, a lot of that comes comes down to patience or not mm -hmm. having patience. And if you can continue to learn, if you can continue to grow, and you be able to do that with yourself, mm -hmm. being patient with yourself. Able, yeah, if you could do that with yourself, I think that it can open up all these wonderful. Um, you know, doors for mm -hmm. you know things to happen. You and you know whether it be your in your love life, whether it just be with your friendships, mm -hmm. with people at the basketball court or in the yoga class or anything. Basketball like that. court. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, I think that that is certainly something that I will continue to try to work on each and every single day. I definitely like, I recommend five minutes of meditation every day. Like, do it for a month and let me know if if, if it's not an incredible. It's something you don't look forward to. Like, I would be amazed. Yeah, I, I certainly want to try to maybe start doing some kind of like, you know, breathing or some kind of like, you know, treatments like that. I mean, I don't want to sit in the corner and hyperventilate, but like, you know, I want to do something that yeah. like kind of like calm my mind and like, you know, strengthen my body. I mean, I'm already doing that, you know, going to the gym and playing basketball, but like you can certainly try to take that to another level and improve, you know, whatever best version you think you are right now. Mm -hmm. Be better every day, better than you were yesterday. Yeah.
Um, anything you'd like to add in closing to people? Any any kind of encouraging words that you'd like to maybe tell people about trying to be better at patience or anything you want to share? One of my favorite quotes, and I think it goes for everything. If you're not patient, if you are lacking productivity, if you need habits, messy action is still action. So if you sit well, down yeah. for a minute every day, that's still beautiful. If you try and practice patience and you fail, but you still tried, that's okay. But do what you think needs to be done, even if it's not perfect. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Guys, if that didn't hit, hit you a little bit different, I don't know what will. Mm -hmm. Artemis, thank, thank you. Thank so you for much. having me. I appreciate you so much. I just appreciate you just being, you know, like Becca, being very vulnerable and being able to open up about, you know, things that are important in your life. And I hope you continue to, um, you know, have a great opportunity with your show. I hope Thanks. that you can certainly be the best version of a daughter that you can be for your dad. Thank you. And I wish you the best of luck. You too, Jameson. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Wow, guys. that That's a show. That's an amazing show. That's an amazing show because we have amazing people on. So I just wanted to thank them again for being here. Please, again, hit Becca Bay. I don't know if she's still here in the comments. Artemis is still here. Guys, please favorite them. Please try to check out their streams. Try to check out, you know, Artemis' show again. It's on uh, Wednesday afternoon at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's called Breath by Breath. You can also certainly check out Beck on her stream. She does Wig Wednesdays. And, uh, you know, if that's something that you would be interested in doing, certainly try to go over there to try to support her and what she's certainly trying to do. And so, guys, we're just trying to re reflect with you guys. And, again, we'll just revisit those two quotes with you for anybody new and to miss that. The quote we were doing for this week for patience was patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. That quote's about attitude, guys. So you have to have the right attitude like me and Artemis were talking about. You have to have the right attitude in order to have that patience. Patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. The next quote that we have, I usually only do one, but I, was, I, I love this one so much and I just wanted to fit it in where I could is patience is power. Patience is not an absence of action. Rather, it is timing. It waits on the right time to act for the right principles and in the right way. Patience is power. Patience is not an absence of action. Rather, it is timing. It waits on the right time to act for the right principles and in the right way. Guys, that quote is certainly about action and like we were talking about with Artemis, attitude and action it all works together um it's just an amazing show i don't even have the words we just had two amazing people tonight just like we have every single week amazing people i certainly appreciate them taking the time out of their schedules to be here and just share and be vulnerable with me it's it's, it's so awesome to have this opportunity in this platform to have a show like this so guys next week's topic and this is certainly going to be very interesting if you're ever interested in being on the show please hit me up with a message, please hit me up on Instagram. Eventually, they're going to be able to make it where our social uh, media is going to be on the banner when you see it. So at some point, they're going to change that, guys. So like I said, if you're interested in being on the show, please hit me with the, um, the message. Uh, next week's topic, guys, is uniqueness. So that's what we're going with next week is uniqueness. And I think that that's going to be a unique conversation to have with anybody. Because I think it's a characteristic that, you know, just certainly sets you apart from everybody else. So um, that's what we're going to do next week, guys. Again, thank you so much for being here. That was an amazing show. I am so glad that you guys were here. I appreciate you guys very, very much. And that wraps it up. Wow. Okay. Now we're out of show mode. Oh, man. Thank you for the champagne. Thank you for the strawberries, guys. Thank you so, so much. Appreciate you guys being here. If you're new here, please hit me with the favorite as well. Please hit Becca. Please hit Artemis. Please hit all the amazing people in the, um, you know, the chat right now. Thank you. Thank you. And, guys, there we go. Speaking of patience, we got that patience on that bonus. Let's go. Man. Wow.
Appreciate you guys being here. Hey. Let's get some music going. My God. Be on for just a couple more minutes, but guys, thank you so much for being here. Wow, you guys are amazing. What kind of music tonight? Y'all help me out. What are we, what are we going with? What are we going with tonight? Let's throw out some uh, suggestions. Let's set the tone. Kyle, think of that favorite. Hmm. Thank you very much. Ooh, ooh, I know. Let's go with this. Let's go with, uh. Oh, that'd be good. What about this, though? Let's start things going. Let's get this going. Now with Taco Bell's app, you can build your own five. Nothing new with Taco Bell, though. Because you know what you crave at Taco Bell. Right? Shout out, shout out to Chalupas. Let's go. Travel. Guess who's back again? <laughs> Travel, thank you. 